Hey, good Thursday night. Meteorologist Doug Hetty want to update you on our next few storm systems, which are rolling in. Uh, the first one that we're going to keep our eyes on pushes in uh, Friday night and uh, could even see a little bit of snow in some areas of the four state area. And then we have a very weak little wave on Christmas Eve and then a stronger storm system that moves in next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So let's look at the upper level pattern. Here's our wave right now, and it's what we call a positive tilt. You can see it kind of leans toward the right. So it's a positive tilt. It was leaning back toward the left as it passes by. That would be a very intense system. But it does straighten up as it pushes in. So now this is really a no tilt. It's kind of from north to south. But at the same time, it's weakening. So when it pushes by, it's a weak little wave, but if we can get in the perfect spot, we could see uh, at least uh, a, a batch of one to two inches across some locations. And then let's look past that. We got this weak little wave here, so some snow flurries, maybe a few light snow showers on Sunday morning, and then we'll focus on next Wednesday. Here comes this system, Thursday, and then into Friday. So that could be a very interesting storm system. So let's go ahead and let's move through time. I think clouds drizzle pick up tonight. Really is the case throughout the daytime hours tomorrow. Look at the rain. It develops south. This is tomorrow morning or Friday morning about 6 a.m. So clouds and drizzle throughout the day. Rain increases to our south, eastern Oklahoma, central parts of Arkansas. As we work through the day, here's our area of low pressure. You can see on the back side. So the comma head's trying to develop. So we got to watch this batch tomorrow evening as it starts to spread north. So here is about 9 p.m. tomorrow evening. It looks like rain pushes in. In the blue here, you can see snow. And then in the pink, this is where it mixes with the rain-snow mix. So this is about 1 o'clock in the morning, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, gone. Um, but where this little batch of snow pops up, that's going to be interesting. The ground is fairly warm, but it could give us some slushy accumulations. Now, that's one model. If we look at another one, it's a hair farther south, but farther north than it was earlier today. So here's midnight, and you can see the band of snow trying to develop, uh, mainly along and south of Interstate 44. So really what I'm thinking Sorry, I'm sicker than a dog. I've been sick all week. North of I-44, maybe at dusting. And then south of I-44, um, a dusting upwards to one, maybe even two inches, especially across McDonald County, Berry County, and Benton County, and Delaware County, in northeastern Oklahoma. It's going to be very slushy snow, but uh, we'll see how this intensifies throughout the day, time hours tomorrow. But most of us are kind of in that dusting, maybe a little bit more range, but of course we're going to watch it. Now let's go ahead and um, we'll jump forward. Let's look at next week here a little bit. Here is Sunday morning, so a band of light snow to our north. That's why I think we could get a few flurries. And then let's go to next Wednesday. This will be interesting. Remember, the pink is freezing rain, sleet, and the blue is snow. So next Wednesday, rain develops. Ice storm sets up just to our north. We see mainly rain, and then that colder air sinks in, and we could have an ice storm on our hands for late Thursday, and then switching over to snow. So this could be a very interesting storm system to watch as well. All right, guys, have a great night. Have a great Friday. Of course, I'll keep you updated on any changes throughout the daytime hours for tomorrow. But right now, not a big deal, but some areas, especially our southern counties, could get some light, slushy accumulations. Have a great night. Have a great Friday.